Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay. And, and we, we are Pyro DJ. DJ. And welcome back to Virgin Voyages. It's been far too long and we've missed you. <laughs> that is true. You may remember we sailed Valiant Lady a couple of years ago. Now we are on Scarlet Lady. Yeah, the sister that we saw in the sister meetup that one time. That is true. This mm -hmm. is the original lady. That's right. Now, I have to say, this is one cruise that I have been looking most forward to out of almost all of our future cruises. Same, yeah. Virgin made that much of an impact on me that I'm like, I need some more of that in my life. So mm. this is a five-day sailing. Where are we going? We are going to Cozumel and Bimini, and that's it. No, last time. <laughs> Bimini. <laughs> we missed Bimini last time. Spoiler yeah. alert, if you didn't see those vlogs from two years ago. Uh, so hopefully this time we get in. Now, we're already on board, mm -hmm. but we do need to throw it back and show you how we got here. We actually walked here we uh, did. this morning. Our car is safely over at Safe Cruise Parking, mm -hmm. but let's throw it back and catch you up. Welcome to Terminal V. We are ready for some Virgin Voyages excitement. Looks like this is the area where we are being sorted into time groups. All right, first step is to pick up our bands. We should be able to go to the priority line. Yeah, so because of our status match with Carnival, we actually get some onboard credit, a little collection called Deep Blue Extras, which gets us some fancy things, and we get a $100 bar tab. Oh, wow, just about 115 or slightly after, and we are rolling. Up the escalators we go. There's the signs for the sailing club, which I think is priority. They got the splash of romance line. Actually, I think we're all just going over to Ahoy Sailor because it's only priority loading right now. Oh, that was pickup for our red bands. Now we are off to X-Ray. Fast and easy so far. Wow, it's a whirlwind embarkation. And now we get to enter one of the coolest hangout areas of any cruise ship terminal I can recall. And there's clubs. Everywhere. Plugs everywhere. If you need to do any work, this is the place for you. They've got USBs, standard plugs. Literally my favorite embarkation process, I think. It's so calm. Everybody was very chill. It's fast. Oh, one thing to note on Virgin Voyages, you do have to have a passport. But you can sail if you're 18 and over. So there's some pluses right there. Yeah, so yeah. adults only, which is like you said, 18, yeah. but. Yeah, man, I'm so excited. I am too. <laughs> Let's get this party started. Whoop, whoop. So the process for us outside was to collect our blue bracelet, which is essentially the status match proof bracelet. And then we came inside to get our nice little wearable, which is how you what, unlock the door, pay for things and all that good stuff. So we are braceleted up. Why are you playing my bracelet? <laughs> the deep blue sailing club and we are off down the red tunnel we go first steps of scarlet lady Ahoy. Well, we've been directed to the elevator lobby and boom here we go they've secured one for us oh it's the party elevator Party elevator for sure. Now cabins are ready as soon as you board, so we're going straight to deck 11. It's a nice plus. So we are 11026A. There we go. Right, we should be able to just tap in. Magic. Oh, wow. So we have made it to the cabin, which is wonderful. Now we'll wait and tour the cabin later. We uh, hopped on the Wi-Fi, hopped on the app and made all of our show reservations because that was a number one priority. Our number two priority now is lunch. So we're gonna head up to the galley. Let's go, I'm excited. <laughs> so deck 15 is where we are going to want to be. I like this hand sanitizer. Oh yeah, the little, <laughs> <laughs> it's so fast when you put your hand in there. Is it's this... cool though. <laughs> Hey, an elevator. Ooh, it's a blue, it's a blue one. Party elevator. Now we live at the very back of the ship so we can see some little views out there. Let's get in here. So I'll try not to do too much repeating, but it has been two years since we sailed Virgin, so we have to give all the updates. Now the galley is essentially a bunch of stations, but you don't really go to the stations in order. You find a table, 
there's a menu and they come around and take your order. And there are a few grab and go stations. Ooh, I see pops. This is one of my favorite spots, the Bento Box Sushi Station. All this is included, of course. So it looks like it's cucumber avocado, salmon avocado, spicy tuna, prawn tempura, or a combo box. They've got all kinds of fun sauces and soy sauce down here at the end. Beverage station, which this is tap that hot. I guess there's a cold station. Oh, you just went to tap that cold and got your free soda. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Coke Zero. Yeah. It's like baby freestyle machines and all the soda is included. All right, let's go find the salad bar and a table and I think you'll be in heaven. I mean, you're already there. There is the daily mix, which is the salad bar. And they have a couple of prefab options like a pumpkin hummus salad, um, a salmon Caesar salad. They've got soup. There is Dee's salad creation. Mm -hmm. Very nice. You got your bento box going. Soda. Oh, I forgot to go get my soda. Um, I got, oh yeah, there's a station over there. My salad. I wanted to try that sort of pumpkin uh, hummus dip that they had. And don't judge, I got two boxes of sushi. <laughs> They're small, to be fair. It's all right. And each little bento box comes with kind of a little seaweedy salad. And of course, your ginger and your wasabi. Well, to add to my previous statement, it looks like the way the galley works is they have this device and they have QR codes on the back you can scan. You just set this down, raise the flag, and they will come over and take your order. But I do see people up ordering at the station, so I think it works either way. You can approach and order yourself or just set this little device down. Oh, there it goes. And the little Ahoy flag goes up and they will come over and take your order. And here are the QR codes. I'm not sure if you have to be on the ship Wi-Fi to actually see them, but hey, just in case they work, there's some menus. All right, I went up to the popsicle stand. Now they're doing what they're calling pops and bubs, which is making like mimosas and bubblies oh. to go with the popsicles and combos, but I just got us some pops. We we'll skip the bubs. That's true. I got us <laughs> the same flavor. See if you can tell. It's chocolate covered. Okay. Put your taste buds to the test. It should be pretty easy, I hope. Coconut? No. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> We're doing great. I haven't tasted it yet, so. I have no idea. Oh, no. It's supposed to be chocolate banana. Okay. All right. So it must not be well, very strong on the, the thing banana. Is the chocolate is like really thick and it's an icy popsicle. So it's hard to get the flavor when it's not like an ice cream. That's one. true. I can see that. It's really good though. They also had guava and then they mm. had berry rose, which okay. I don't think they meant rosé. I think they meant rose, like <laughs> rose water. It's good. Anyway, nom 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 nom. Dang on, that first bite is so covered with chocolate you can hardly get the banana, but now that I'm down in there, yeah, so it takes a few bites, but be good. And it's included. Well, just in case those menus did not work, so you've got the daily mix, you got diner and dash, which is breakfast all day, the burger bar, Let's taco about it. Bento baby, noodle around, and hot off the press. Now we do still need to watch the safety video, so we're gonna queue that up and see if we can watch that on the app. Desserts, sandwiches, this burger bar is endlessly popular. All right, let's head back down to the cabin for now. Boom. Now we are back in the cabin, so let's do the official cabin tour. Now we only booked an insider rate, which is an inside cabin, uh, and, but they have upgraded us for free to a sea terrace. We're in the very back of the ship, so a standard sea terrace in the stern aft. Let's peek it. Yeah, we had booked a guaranteed inside, I guess I should say. So anyway, there is the door with safety information. This is the closet device. So we do have a couple of pull-out drawers there. I guess the other parts could be considered shelves. Well, that's a little, like a suit hanging bag. Inside the closet, you do have your light switches as well as your do not disturb or please make up my cabin um, shelf on top as well with life jackets. And then this section is a closet with a full length mirror and more shelves and drawers and things. Opposite the closet, we do have the bathrooming facility. So let's take a peek. A couple of hooks up tall. There is the toileting zone. Oh yeah, they got the makeup removal towels as well as the hand towels. They do provide tissues. Little bath mat under there. Let's peek at the sink. Very nice. And the shower. Oh yes, it's the rainfall 
with the little separate stick type device. We do have body wash with separate conditioner and hair wash, as it were. Oh, little glass door. We'll be digging more into that later, of course. All right, so the front door is behind me. That's the closet. That's the bathroom. Let's come out in here. There's our little thermostat. None of the light switches require um, key cards or anything like that. We do have a chair. These bags are not included in the room. There's another full-length mirror just over here. Power solutions. This is where it starts getting good. We've got a standard 110 type outlet as well as a couple of USBs there. What is this little friend? Oh, for $12, you can buy your own little squishy puss. Interesting. Some light switches there. Little bedside table. There's the bed. Oh, what is this? Comfy throw, freshly laundered. We'll look at some. Oh, let's see if there's any bedside power solutions. I blazed right past the desk. We'll get back to the desk. There it is, past the light switches. Nice regular outlet. A couple of USBs. Another like bedside table. Actually, that's one that sits on your lap. So I skipped right over the TV and the desk. Here we go. Oh, yes. You get water in your room every day. They have like a sextant just in case the ship gets lost and you need to like help it find its way. A little fridge down there. Some storage. A little stool. <sighs> I say little a lot because the furniture is kind of low and small comparatively. Little mirror and a little balcony. Before we peek at the balcony I've planted myself in the corner of the room so let's just take a peek at it. It's not little I just like that word. Oh there's some red hooks right on the end of that thing that I missed pointing out. And now the sea terrace. Oh, don't bang the door like that. So we got a table and a chair. What? What is going on out here? I'm in my happy place. This is where they keep their D's in her happy place. It is her hammock on the sea terrace. I'm so happy right now. Oh boy. Yep, this is our happy place. This is a nice upgrade. I didn't even point out the tablet here at the desk, which has all kinds of features on it, and I missed the power here. So we have like a 110, a couple of USBs, well that one's being used by the tablet, another 110, and like a 220. Such power. Well, I turned the tablet on. First thing it wants is for us to watch that safety video. We'll probably put that on the TV shortly, but this has all your room controls. You can turn the lights on and off, control the TV, uh, open and close your cabin curtains, which there are switches by the cabin to do that too. And look at my head reflection in there. You can set the percentage of light that you want, turn things on and off, do your thermostat. Oh, they've got moods. Get it on. Photo shoot. Zen. Pumped up. Hangover. Okay. Well, I guess maybe we should do the safety thing. Probably still one of my favorite safety videos ever. Crew members wearing Marshall hats in a very fashion forward shade of purple will be at your assembly station to check you in and answer any questions you may have. We have successfully watched our safety video, so the next step is to visit our muster station anytime between 4.30 and 6.30 at our leisure, which is nice. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. We are fresh and clean. Well, me, I I changed, yeah. We are ready to go explore the whole safety thingamajig they've been talking about on the speakers, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not quite time yet. It's not even 4.30. No, I've got 15 more minutes. And explore the ship itself because it has all sorts of cool, fun areas. And most things are included, which is really extra fun. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, and we're going to go right into dinner mode after that. So we'll go ahead and do sock of the day. Get the evening rolling. We got shows later. We got stuff, y'all. Sail away party. Mm. All that good stuff. Yeah, and funny, last time we sailed Virgin, we kind of went to the sail away party, and when nothing happened at the time, see, we're so used to the traditional, Yeah, we went yeah. to dinner, but people told us we missed stuff. We have later dinner on purpose this time, so we'll see. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Down to deck seven. Oh, that's the assembly station I here at the back of the deck. That's actually the wake. Oh, okay. Here is H just inside this door. 
this is technically the dock house or just outside of the dock house. There are the folks who will be checking us in shortly. Oh, they've got like a little flaggy menu thing here too because they got included snacks here, yeah? Nice. Uh, we have scanned our bracelets. They told us to come back if there's an emergency and released us into the world. Uh, this, I think, is the social club area where you can play games and whatnot. What do they got? Shoots and ladders. Mousetrap. Sushiko. What the heck is that? I don't know. Like a card game of some sort. What? For two dollars you can try your hand at some random merch. That's cool. Social Club, of course, has all the delicious included snacks and things in there. There is the game cabinet. It's like puzzles, classic games, games I've never heard of, games I'm really bad at. <laughs> Grounds Club Coffee House. Now, part of our loyalty match does include a $10 coffee credit per day here. So we'll have room. to, for the cabin, yeah, we'll have to make some visits here, of course. Oh, yeah, I wonder if that starts today. <laughs> Maybe. What is all this fancy, healthy sounding stuff? I mean, not the Kahlua um, and all that, but you know. <laughs> and they've got included pastries over on this side. They're good, too. And gluten free. Let's get a little outsiding in our lives, shall we? Yes. Well, there I am down there in what looks like a giant Instagram filter mirror wall of yellowness. So we're overlooking the Virgin Voyages terminal from this side. Not quite as good as the view off our balcony, but I'll take it. No. <laughs> giant party couch for all your friends. I mean, that's a cool hangout, yeah. You got 200 close friends, bring them over to this couch. Well, here we are. We have joined this couch. So if 198 of you want to come sit with us, we got room. He's not joking. It's about that large, honestly. <laughs> it is such a nice temperature in Miami today. It is like, February then, so. <laughs> I feel like, is it even barely break? It's, it's gotta it's like be in the 70s, 70s barely. Maybe. So nice. <laughs> Remember to bring your band or cabin. She's very car. vigorous out See here. Your assembly station soon. So loud. Oh, but it's okay. clear to, to understand It's at super least. clear, yeah. yeah. So we'll go ahead and motivate toward the sail away party. Actually, we might go see about using that coffee credit first. <laughs> you know it. Success. We have ordered some iced mochas. Heck yeah. You can also pick up your daily schedules here. I mean, everything's in the app, but if you like paper, there it is. I think they had three or four places at least around the ship where you could get those papers, but... Oh, that's right. They are using, like, thick old plastic cups for reusability's sake. Started out back here at the smaller pool area. I believe the sail away excitement is happening up here around the larger pool. There's the main pool area. Let's see if we can snag a booth. Here's where they keep their knees on the pool deck. So this is let's set sail that we are waiting for. Here is all of the words about descriptions of stuff that may happen as we sit here. That is awesome. If you have already watched our safety uh -oh, we're gonna video, blow the horn. you're good to go. If you have not watched the video, be loud. do not speak. Please <laughs> do so now. What you just heard is the ship's general emergency alarm, nice which and consists of seven short blasts and one long blast. Now it is time to set sail for the Virgin Bay. And as a special welcome on board, we will show you free balls. On deck 15 and deck 16 mission. Oh, they're starting to pump the tunes now. The captain just said something about popping bottles of bubbly. We've got some happening cast up above there. We are getting ready to sail away. We'll see if we get some better peaks here in a while, but I think I see the diva up there. I think we've seen the hostess up there. In just a few moments, we're going to be closing all of you naughty, naughty sailors. Raise your glass for the friends you will soon discover. <laughs> 
I guess we are in motion since there is our terminal. So we have left the pier and we are headed out. All the way at the back of deck seven should be the entrance to the wake. The restaurant's actually on deck six, but you have to approach from seven. Well, there is the entrance. All right, so the wake is, I guess, what you would call sort of a traditional steakhouse experience. And we didn't eat dinner here last time. We had brunch, but we're excited to try dinner. All right, we just checked in at the reception desk there, or whatever you call it. We're heading on down. Oh, they got nice sail away views down here. Very cozy. Oh, I'm distracted. All right, let me let me get to the table. Here we go. All right, we've given Dee the huggy chair. I have taken the giant booth side of the table. They've given us uh, like a wine list and whatnot. Let's look at the menu menu, shall we? sit over here in my gigantic booth side. I love it. <laughs> well, they've started this out. Did she say they were Parker House rolls? I think so. Yeah, basically. And some garlic butter. It looks like monkey bread. to wander out now to an area we have not hit on this ship yet, which is kind of their atrium concept of the roundabout. Oh, there's lick me till ice cream, which is, you know, <laughs> we'll come down here, around and around and around, down a level. Oh, down here you've got the tattoo shop, all the duty free shops. We're gonna settle in over here and maybe catch some tunes. There is a bar over there, and we should have a Latin Trio kicking up some tunes soon. They're getting set up now. I'll take a little peek down their special cocktail menu. And bottled beers and Red Bulls and stuff. Look at all them huaskies. Good gracious. <laughs> but Dee has decided to try the Entertainer, which came with a shot of sparkling wine to either be mixed in or to use as a chaser. Fun. And I got Are We at Sea, which was um, tequila and mezcal and absinthe and yep. Gosh. casino is open let's not look at it there's the manor we can look at that so shiny we are coming up to the red room which is our main forward theater so we are here to see joshua jordan for a blend of comedy and illusion and they open the doors 15 minutes prior to the show there we have it 
Let's see how we're set up in here. Ah, yes, traditional theater style, which is what I expected. This is a very convertible space. It's interesting to see what it does over the course of the week. Well, we have snagged about sixth row center. Woohoo! Woohoo! So go ahead and pull one out, hold it close to your chest so that nobody can see it. Now in a second, what I'm going to have you do is hold the card up so that everybody can see it. I want you to put the card back anywhere at random. <laughs> Inside of the deck. So I'm going to make it a little more difficult. I'm going to shuffle up the cards first. <laughs> that way we have no idea where his card is. Just pretend that you don't see the next 10 seconds. Because this is a very tricky thing to set up live. Here we go. Just pretend you're not seeing this part. Come here. <laughs> Ow, don't bite. No, no, no. Come here. It's okay. <laughs> Fly free! <laughs> I'm going to make this ping pong ball disappear right in front of your very eyes. But it is just an illusion. Watch closely. time for a quick wardrobe change before we hit our next event. <laughs> Holy pajama mode. Oh yeah, we're ready to party. Wear slippers, but I forgot. So, oh. Hey dudes it is. <laughs> well, the aft elevators only took us to 15, but I can hear the party on 16. Oh, we have definitely found where all the action is. I'm just here for the milk and cookies, to be honest, but yeah. Here is where they keep their D's right here on the giant, awesome couch bed. Do my Snoopy pants go with my milk and cookie socks? I think so. Man, they broke out the Jimmy Eat World. It is actually still night. I think it's like three minutes to midnight, y'all. Yeah. But you know what the beauty of going to a pajama party is? 
you're already in your PJs, so you can go right to bed. Bonus. <laughs> so, what have we been doing this evening? I guess we will talk about the show, yeah? Comedy yeah. and magic. Mostly comedy, with a touch of magic. He was hilarious. Mm. Joshua Jordan. He said he has a show on Netflix, or maybe did like a comedy show. I've never seen him before, but he was so funny. Um, yeah. Impressive <laughs> magic trick. It was so impressive. <laughs> and he would throw lots of confetti. No, it was very, very funny. And um, really clean, too, for Virgin. Like, nothing like, you know, out True. there or crazy, you know, as they kind of are known for. So, that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. He had, like, three or four actual tricks <laughs> and a lot of comedy. Yeah. Hmm. It was really good. Uh, pajama party. Always fun. I was there for the cookies, like I said, and I got one cookie. It was much busier this time than it was oh, uh, yeah. the last time we did it, but it was really good time. And they played good music. That's true. It yeah. was all over the place. A lot of 90s music. <laughs> a lot of 90s music, actually, which I appreciated. Mm -hmm. Guess that's it. Other than dinner, any other words? Mm, no, mm. just dinner. All right. There it is. Oh, wow. Yep, this lighting. <laughs> you had the hamachi. Hamachi crudo, which is basically raw hamachi fish with like a pomegranate sauce. Um, delicious, very light, so, you know, not filling, which is good for the rest of the meal, but it had really good flavor. Mm. I had clam chowder. Now, it had nice little fried pieces of clam. They came and applied the soup table side so they didn't get too mushy-wushy. This was stinking delicious. It was seasoned well. It had boom pow flavor. I even gave you a bite of it. Was it was tasty. Did yeah. it boom pow you? It was boom pow. Boom pow. <laughs> um, get it? It was fantastic. <laughs> Uh, I'm the only one who got a second appetizer, which was the wedge salad, which, of course, I got because it had blue cheese. Now, it was a mild blue. That's the only reason I eat it. But everything <laughs> about it came together. The lettuce was cooked perfectly. It's not cooked. Uh, but it was good. Mm -hmm. You had, what did you get, filet mignon? Filet mignon. Mm -hmm. It was cooked perfectly. I asked for medium. It was beautiful. And I got, like, a chimney, no, no, a salsa verde mm. sauce. And it was deliciously paired with it. Nice. Big old hunk of garlic head, which... Um, I did not eat that. I did, but so... But it's probably good. <laughs> True. I got the hanger steak. Now, I was torn between hanger and New York strip, and I asked, and they said that hanger is a more tender piece of meat, even though it was a smaller serving, and I said, that is fine. <laughs> it was also fantastic. Oh, I'm kicking furniture. Ignore me. <laughs> I got what they call, call the... Are you okay? Yeah. The American steak sauce, which is like an A1. Uh, it tasted uh, pretty heavily of ketchup, but I didn't mind that. Uh, and I ate just about every piece of garlic in that garlic. Head. But yeah, <laughs> steak, super flavorful, tender, cooked medium. Mm. You had asparagus. Asparagus with tarragon something I can't pronounce. But it's basically like a mayonnaise tarragon. Um, they were a lovely. I love asparagus. And these were cooked really, really well. And that sauce paired really nice with it. I had mushrooms, and I don't really know what to say about the mushrooms, except they were cooked perfectly. They were very earthy, and they were a perfect complement to that steak, so. I say everything's cooked perfectly. I love those mushrooms. <laughs> and then we both got the twice-baked potato. It was cooked perfectly. Yes, no. it was. Um, it was really good. It had, like, some creamy element to it. I don't know if it was cheese. There was cheese in it. Okay, yeah. it was cheese. It yeah. was really, really yummy. That's part of the twice bacon, is they throw that cheese on there <laughs> and know. bake it again. I don't know. Uh, oh, yep, the go-to dessert. Uh, now, <laughs> let's start with, she brought us a um, baked Alaska, which we did not order. We I guess not. that was just a sample to try. And it was pistachio inside. Mm -hmm. You had a little bite of it, but you were full by this point. Oh, my gosh. I did not even want to eat any dessert. <laughs> I'm stuffed. It was a good baked Alaska, though. It did not have that annoying sort of like crunch, crunch sugar on it, because mm -hmm. I like a good meringue without that on there. <laughs> pistachio ice cream. It had cherries. It had yum-yums. Mm -hmm. Love it. You had the apple dessert. I did. So apple tatan, uh, something like that. So apple kind of cake preparation almost. Mm. It says short crust and then like a mascarpone cream. Something about it had like an, a burnt like flavor. I think it was intentional, but mm -hmm. I just wasn't sure what it was. Or maybe like, um, like oranges, something like that. So it was kind of a little off-putting to me, um, but I'm sure that's how it was supposed to taste. I don't know. It wasn't my favorite, but it was it was really well balanced, you know, overall. Yeah, I tried it. I didn't mind it. It's not yeah. something I'd gravitate toward because it did have a certain bitterness to it. Mm -hmm. But it was good. No, it was it was prepared really well. I wouldn't get it myself, no. but I know you love apples. <laughs> now I had the cutest little dessert ever, which was a Meyer lemon cheesecake in the shape of a lemon. It had like a little, I guess it's marzipan or something over it, or yeah. not fondant, probably marzipan, to make it look like a lemon. 
<laughs> it was paired with berries. It had a little graham cracker, so it was kind of deconstructed. Mm-hmm. It was very, it wasn't like in your face lemon, but it wasn't like sweet, sweet, because I love a sour dessert to be sour. And this was that. So cuteness factor and sourness factor, that's a winner. Yeah, it was a delicious meal overall. I just wouldn't eat dessert right now. <laughs> it's too full anyway. Well, right now, plus I just had a cookie. <laughs> Y'all, we're going to bed. Yeah. Um, that's all I know. So I guess tomorrow we have a sea day. Lots to do. I'm excited we'll, for it. Yeah. We'll see what we do. All right. Come on back now, y'all. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>